Hey everybody, this video is just to show you guys how to interlock the back of your head when you are doing DIY micro locks or locks yourself. So if that sounds interesting, just keep watching. So here I have my mirror hanging up. This mirror helps me see the back of my head. There's one on this side, this side, and this side. And it also has a light that adjusts the brightness. It can go up, it can go down. So you really can just adjust it to whatever level of brightness that you would like. I have already done this whole section right here. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks doing it yourself in the mirror. Of course I have like my gel here that I'm going to use to help me with my parting and just molding the hair. I have my interlocking tool. As you can see my hair is already like in a little scrunchy bun and I also have some clips in my purple bag and get right to it. What you want to do is just adjust the mirror to where you need it to see whatever section of hair you're working on. I'm going to start on this side so I can give a better demonstration that you guys can see. I'm going to show you guys how to do it with these three locks right here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just give my hair a little spray with a little water and I'm going to put the gel on the hair it's gonna help me with the molding. I can see what I'm doing because I'm looking in the mirrors. I'm going to take a rat tail comb or rat tooth comb, whatever y'all like to call it, and I'm going to kind of try to straighten out some of the parts. I take it and kind of comb down so I can kind of see what I'm working with. All right, y'all, so as you can see, I got a pretty defined line here. So when I get that, I make sure to brush, a brush, I make sure to kind of comb the rest of these hairs up. I don't want the hairs at the top to come down over what I just separated, and I don't want them to get interlocked where I don't want them interlocked, so. So boom, just a little close up so you can see. This is the area I'm working with. I straightened it out. Now what I'm gonna do is work individually, lock by lock. So I'm gonna take these two here and pin them away, because I am not working with them right now. And I'm also going to take a clip and clip up these hairs, because I don't want them to get interlocked. So now I am going to make sure that my parting is good right here in this area. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get the comb, take the end, and I'm still looking in my mirror and just making sure my parting is where I want it to be. That one wasn't that bad actually. And if you guys can see, I got like some, sh some loose hairs right here. I'm going to take those hairs and wrap them. So I wanna make sure that they get interlocked with this lock. So I'm gonna wrap it and twist. I have now wrapped those loose hairs around. I ended my last rotation this way. So this time I'm going to start going down and I'm gonna show you guys how I look in the mirror. Or this is just really how I do. I look, let me show you guys. Let me tell you guys what mirror I'm looking in. I am looking in this mirror here. There is a mirror right here. This shows me exactly what I need to see. I can fully see the part. I can see the lock. I can see my hand going down. Again, 
to the side. to the side and I think I'm gonna do one more going down to finish off down and as you can see you can see the split there and it's showing where I ended the last rotation going downward and that's that. Not tightened yet. Retightened. Not tightened. Nice difference there. This looks really crisp. This one looks like it is ready for some work. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm actually going to move the mirror back a little bit more so you guys can see exactly where I'm looking. I've already done the top, so I just need to check the sides. Make sure my parting is good where I want it. Whenever I'm trying to separate hairs for my parting, I make sure to spray it first so I'm not breaking the hair. Think of your hair like a leaf. Like if the leaf has some water on it, it's going to be a lot more flexible and bendy and work with you. But if the leaf is dry and you try to touch the leaf or try to move the leaf or bend the leaf, it might break. So that's how I think about it with my hair and it, and it actually works. Just something to keep in mind when you're doing this because you want to avoid breakage and you want to keep your hair maintained and strong. So just keep that in mind. Last time I interlocked, that is a good amount of growth. <laughs> have now successfully interlocked 
three locks in the back of our head. Y'all saw how it looked before, it looks way better now. And that's how y'all do it. So I hope that this was helpful to somebody. Starting my marker lock journey, this is something that I was actually looking up videos for, like trying to figure out, has anyone shown how to do the back of their head? It was a big concern for me because as a DIYer, you know, this is something that you are going to have to figure out. So whatever is the best route for you, I wish you the best. Um, but this is a great method to use if you're trying to figure out what you're going to do. I will be interlocking the rest of my hair and showing that in a later video so make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see what the finished results look like. Thank you guys for all the support and all the love. If you have it in your heart and you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the love and support and until next time thank you guys for watching. Bye bye!